It's a beautiful day already here in West Michigan. A look over Muskegon shows hardly a cloud in the sky. We have a few people out on the beach, rightfully so, enjoying the day. Also, a look all across the lakeshore does show that we have endless sunshine. This is going to be the day, a Thursday, a perfect day to really just spend outside. Try to soak in this weather while we have it. It is going to be the perfect combination of the nearly just warm but not cold enough. It's a really great day. Temperatures right now are mainly in the 60s across the Midwest. A closer look to home. 68 degrees in Ionia, 68 in Holland, now 70 in Muskegon, and 68 degrees in Kalamazoo. Winds are very light and they're going to remain on the lighter side throughout the day. The rain from earlier this morning has now shifted towards the east. High pressure is starting to build in and we are going to see mostly sunny skies for the rest of today and also leading into tomorrow. There is a very weak cold front towards our northwest that could come into play where we could see the chance of a light sprinkle leading into tomorrow and also on Saturday, but a large part of the viewing area is actually going to stay dry with mostly sunny skies. Our day planner calls for mostly sunny conditions all day long, a daytime high temperature of 71 degrees and winds from the northwest roughly between 5 to about 15 miles per hour. Tonight, the coldest temperature will be 51 degrees, so a smidge cooler tonight than what we were at last night. With partly cloudy to mostly clear conditions, winds are also going to start shifting. Tomorrow, we'll see another round of lower 70s, a bit cooler right along the lakeshore, a similar situation to what we're going to see today, where the lakeshore will mainly be in the upper 60s, reaching 74 degrees in Kalamazoo, Three Rivers and Coldwater, and around 70 degrees in downtown Grand Rapids. Our future track shows a nice mix of mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies for the rest of today. And as mentioned, that very weak cold front could provide potentially a stray shower in the morning tomorrow, but other than that, we're really going going to see endless sunshine leading into Saturday. Things will change. We are going to see a better opportunity or a better chance at seeing a few showers closer towards West Michigan. Now keep in mind a lot of the system is mainly going to be staying towards our north, but there is going to be a chance that we see a stray shower develop on Saturday and a similar situation on Sunday. Our upper level pattern shows the cooler air that will be hanging around. A lot of us are pretty excited about this break from the heat, but don't worry. Those 80s will return but it does feel nice to be a little bit closer to normal and able to spend plenty of time outside. As for the dew point temperatures, that really drives what we have in the feels like zone. So the past couple of days, aside from yesterday, we actually did have the humid and muggy conditions with our dew point temperatures this past weekend well into the mid to upper 60s. Now we're finally back in that fresh zone expected to stay here between today, tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. Our super seven day plan shows a high temperature of 71 degrees on Thursday. So for today, we'll see mostly sunny skies on Friday. Winds are also going to be quite breezy tomorrow. Mainly the winds will be firing up from the northwest. After that weak cold front passes, we could see the wind gusts up to about 35 miles per hour. So breezy, beautiful Friday, that perfect Friday forecast. The rest of the week does feature the chance of a few stray showers. Mainly a lot of the rain is going to be here on Monday. High temperatures staying in the lower 70s with overnight lows in the 50s. Stay tuned to Fox 17 for your latest forecast.